All right. Okay, quick fire. Now you're going to have to answer the questions quickly, as, as quickly as possible, just a simple yes or no, and why or, or why, why not. not. Okay, same-sex marriage. Yes. Why? Why? Well, who, who are they hurting? They're not hurting anybody. Okay. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, you know, legally, um, same-sex marriage means that you can inherit from your mm -hmm. boyfriend or your girlfriend. But it, today you cannot because you, you wouldn't be able to marry. Mm -hmm. So let's give them that. I mean, you know, they're not hurting anybody. Mm -hmm. Sir, abortion. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm up against abortion. That, that's murder. Mm -hmm. Sir, divorce. Are I'm for favor? divorce, yes. Why? Well, we've had uh, so many uh, annulments already here, uh, pero hindi pa magtutuloy hanggang divorce kasi ayaw ng katoliko. But uh, I, I think that divorce is necessary to have a clean break already and to put a stop to any connection between the two so that they can start off life anew. Extending martial law in Mindanao. I was against that, and I am against that. Why? Because they don't really need martial law in Mindanao. I mean, the, the police can handle everything, and the, the military can handle everything. But martial law in Mindanao means that there's less investors going to Mindanao, and there's less tourists going to Mindanao. Now, if they want that to happen to Mindanao, it, it, it's up to them, no? But to me, there's less tourists and there's less investors. Okay, train law. Train law. I'm against the um, excise tax on diesel. Why? Because Diesel is something that everybody uses in this country. You ride the Habal Habal, it's diesel. You ride the tricycle, it's diesel. You ride the jeepney, it's diesel. You ride the bus, it's diesel. You ride the truck, it's diesel. Yeah. All your goods go to the market, they ride diesel trucks. Yeah. All your goods come home to you, they ride diesel trucks. No, no, you're so just diesel. No, yeah. Just diesel. Just, just diesel. No, no, Yoplas of Business World keeps pointing out also that as we mechanize farms, even the farmers are becoming vulnerable to, yeah. to, to, to price so, increases in fuel. So, you know, if, if you increase the price of diesel, you increase the price of everything. Mm -hmm. There's a domino effect there. Eh? Mm -hmm. So let, let's not tax diesel. Let's tax other things which will not increase our, our cost, like alcohol, tobacco, etc. Mm -hmm. But diesel, no. But not, sir, not there, there are those who say that, uh, that a lot of motors have since moved on to diesel from gasoline because it was cheaper. In fact, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, uh, people who could afford uh, you know, big cars have uh, moved on to diesel. And well, tricycles and the habal habals, they, they run on gasoline because these are motorcycles. So, so they, they, in effect, uh, they're saying that uh, the, bigger, the biggest beneficiaries of, uh, of uh, the lower the price of diesel yeah are people who could actually afford gasoline? No, no. Uh, the biggest beneficiaries of also by diesel are the ones, you know, the users of the trucks and the buses. Mm. Those are diesel. Still on sugar. Uh, uh, diesel. Yeah, still sure. on excise taxes. Sugary drinks and sugar for that matter. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, you can tax that, yeah. Mm. Not, not too much because, I mean, you know, uh, sugar drinks are also good yeah. in a way for our, our people. So. Yeah. Because people have said that, I mean, that has hit the, the poorest 30% uh, in particular. Besides, it's because, I mean, a lot of people, a lot of poor people, that's the, what they can afford. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, you can drink water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so lowering the age of criminal liability. I'm in, in favor, favor of that. Uh, I'm in age? favor of that. Um, 12. In you favor. See, 12. Okay. I voted in favor of raising the age to 15 about a dozen years ago mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. uh, uh, Senator Pangilinan introduced it in the Senate. Did you regret it? Ever. Well, I regret it in the sense that the parents now leave their kids alone and they don't supervise them and the kids are used by drug lords mm -hmm. to distribute because when they get picked up, they get, no released, and they get mm -hmm. released anyway. So I said, okay, lower it to 12 and make sure the kids don't go to the hardened criminal cells. Yeah, but if we yeah. didn't do it before, what makes you think we can do it now? What? I mean, providing that if, safety if net and that, not, uh, yeah. that, that insurance parents that the parents that will before, know. Yeah. It is we easy to provide that. the safety net uh, because the, um, uh, what do you call this? The Bahay Pagasa costs about 15 million each only. Mm. And you, know, you only need about, we have 55 today, and you only need about uh, 
maybe a hundred more. Yes. So that's only a one and a half billion pesos. But again, but it, it goes back to the same question. Again, with Bahay Pag-asa, we didn't even do pag Bahay Pag-asa right. That's what a lot of social workers are saying. Yeah. Are saying now we, the law. I before. mean, you go to a Bahay Pag-asa right now, it looks like a prison. Well, we have to improve on it, put it mm. that way. But I mean, there are things that we have to really do uh, bureau, bureau, bureaucratically. And uh, that's one of the reasons why. But you're in favor of, of, of juvenile detention. Juvenile detention. Uh, because you mentioned you don't you, want them mixed with the adult yes. offenders. Yeah. Yes. So you're in favor of juvenile, some kind of juvenile detention, detention yeah. for rehabilitation. Yes. Okay. And then they can go to school there. Okay. okay. So if they're, they're held for six months, they go to school. Mm. Okay, sir. Kasabay niyan, war on drugs. Do you agree with that? Yeah. I agree with the war on drugs. As a matter of fact, 75% of the Filipinos think that the war on drugs is working. Mm -hmm. so. the way it's but but they're saying that precisely, sir, kasama nun sa age, ano, yung minimum age. Sabi nga nila, ba't hindi sindikato ang habulin? Bakit yung bata? That, that's also what yeah, they're you saying, No, no, right? but I mean, you're, you're chasing the both of them. It's really hard uh, unless you, you, you catch one or the other or catch both, no? Uh, so, uh, pag ginagamit ng bata, sunusunusunod mo yung bata, ano gagawin mo? Wala kang gagawin. But they haven't caught nga raw any syndicate. That's the problem. No drug lord, really. So, are you still in agreement with the war on drugs and the way it's being carried out? Well, yes, because, the, the, look, the majority of the people said yes. They agree with the war. I don't know what's happening because I'm here in Manila, no? Uh, but if they say that, if 75, 80% say yes, it's working, then it must be working. Mm. Uh, 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 the way it's been waged, obviously, is the biggest part of the controversy. Uh, all this talk about EJ case. If you become senator again, do you think that's worth a look uh, into? I mean, the way this is waged, people looking at uh, extrajudicial killings, case. reopening particular cases to look yes. at how high the orders uh, yes. Uh, went? Yes, we, yes, we should do that. Uh, we should look into the EJK again. Now, the EJK, I, I don't think that's President Duterte's fault, really, because it's the police who are doing it. No? You don't think it was President Duterte who enabled those police? Well, or in, encouraged. A, in, in a matter of speaking, yes, he did. But uh, also, in an, an, another manner of speaking, he didn't either. So, uh, we have to look into that. Well, sir, we're almost out of time, but we'd like to give you the last few seconds, 20, 30 seconds, for you to give your message to the viewers. Well, um, I'm Serge Osmania, and I'm running for the Senate. I, uh, I'm an economist, uh, and I've passed 155 laws already. Uh, you know, the, the thing about the Senate is that you need about three to six years to get up to speed on, uh, on, on any topic there. And so, pag ako, subok na ako. I mean, in other words, I can go to work right away. I can go to work on any issue uh, in the Senate. So, um, if you feel that uh, you need an economist in the Senate, vote for me. Mm -hmm.